Hello everyone! Today I become the ruler of books! <laughs> Dying. Today I'm going to be doing the ruler of books tag, and this tag was created by Ariel Bissett. I will leave a link down below to her video. I wasn't tagged by anybody, but that's okay. I'm going to do the tag anyway. So without further ado, let's set up the rules to my royally bookish kingdom. Question number one, what book would you make everyone read? I'll give you a second to guess. You're probably right, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I've been championing this book for years upon years. I've been trying to brainwash all of you guys to read it. So if I had a kingdom and I had to make everybody read a certain book, this is the book it would be. The reason I want everyone to read this book is because it's unique, adventurous, and ultimately peculiar. Number two, what would you abolish in book construction? The thing that I would abolish is thin paper. I do not like when paper is super hecka thin. Mind you, I read the Bible and it's got thin paper, but that don't mean I like the thin paper. And I'm not even sure why it irritates me that much because it's honestly not that big of a deal, but it's also a really big deal and it really irritates me. Sure. For some reason, it just grinds my gears. They're grinding right now just thinking about it. Number three, what author would you commission to write every book ever? You guys probably heard this question and your first thought was either Victoria Schwab or Ransom Riggs. But I'm gonna throw you a little curveball. And I'm gonna go with Brian Selznick. I've been realizing lately how much I enjoy and really appreciate Brian Selznick's books. You can just tell he puts so much care and love into his books. And they're just so full of life and subtle magic. And I would just love to be able to call up Brian Selznick and be like, yo bro, write me a story of a bear eating a flower and turning into a human. Because yes, that sounds like a strange story idea, but I bet you anything he'd take that story idea and make it into this extravagant piece full of crazy beautiful illustrations. Number four, what book would you demote to the library basement to make room for new books? For this one, I'm gonna go with House of Ivy and Sorrow. Now look at this book. It's beautiful, right? It is a beautiful book. Unfortunately, this is a book with a beautiful cover that has a not so great story on the inside, which is super unfortunate because I wanted to love it, but I just didn't, it didn't happen. Number five, what cover artist would you commission to make a beautiful mural? I gotta go with the cover artist for Six of Crows because hot diggity da 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 dang. Every time I look at this book, I basically turn into the emoji with hard eyes. It's just such a beautiful cover. There's so many little details all throughout it. And and I can't even imagine what kind of mural this artist would come up with. Also, to give this artist some credit, I'll give you his name. It is Rich Diaz, I think that's how you say his name. So Rich Diaz, you the man, you a boss. And when I come out with a book, I sure hope that you're doing the cover art. And finally, at number seven, what book would you award the Ruler of Books prize of 2016? I've read a lot of amazing books this year already, but the one that stood out the most to me would definitely have to be The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Now, this book didn't come out in 2016, but it's so deserving of all the awards because of how great it is. Yes, it's definitely dark and emotional, but it's also perfection. I'm also going to choose a book that came out in 2016 that I think deserves an award, and I'm going to give that to Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, because this book was incredible, and the more time that I spend away from it, the more time I think about it, and the more time I think about how incredible it was, so I would definitely give this one an award as well. So that was the Ruler of Books tag. I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to do this tag, then you've been tagged. Also, I want to ask you guys a question to answer in the comments down below. If you had to name your kingdom after a book title, what book title would you choose? There's so many that I could choose for this one, but this one just jumped off my bookshelf. I'm gonna go with Nightfall. How cool would that be? The Kingdom of Nightfall. I don't know, I just really like that name. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so click subscribe if you want to be notified for when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo. Cake for a last in Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Hi. Hi. How fast can you say Cheesecake Factory? Cheesecake Factory. Shut!